No one did glamour quite like Hollywood in the 50s, 60s and 70s. The studios did exceptionally well, discovering raw talent and honing and polishing their stars until they displayed a sheen of perfection, bringing us some of the most glamorous and accomplished Hollywood actresses of all time. We start off our list with the stunning Raquel Welch. There wasn't a teenage boy growing up in the 60s and 70s that didn't have a poster of the incredible Raquel Welch from the movie One Million Years B.C., which was released in 1966. Many believe her to be one of the most beautiful women of all time. At number two, we have Ursula Andress. Now, this could be one you might not have heard of. I know I hadn't. But one look at those beautiful eyes, and I knew she had to be on the list. Plus, she played the very first Bond girl, Honey Ryder, in the 1962 release of Dr. No. Interestingly, just five years later, she appeared in the Bond parody film, Casino Royale. She would work up into the late 90s, but has since fallen out of the spotlight. But she will always get to hold that title of the first Bond girl. At number three, we have Sophia Loren. Miss Sophia Loren began her career at the young age of 15 in Italy, where her natural beauty was immediately recognized at a beauty pageant. Her first international film, The Pride and Passion, was released in 1956 by Paramount. Her thick Italian accent only added to her appeal, and before long, she had a list of achievements a mile long, including an Academy Award, five Golden Globes, and a Grammy. Number four, Jacqueline Bisset. Making her film debut in 1965, Jacqueline Bisset and her sparkling green eyes made a serious impression on studio executives all over Hollywood. Just two years later, she appeared in the James Bond film, Casino Royale, and the following year, Bisset made an appearance in the hit movie, Bullet, with Steve McQueen. Number five, Elizabeth Taylor. Arguably one of the most popular movie stars of all time, as well as one of the most breathtakingly beautiful, Elizabeth Taylor began her career in the film There's One Born. Every minute in 1942. In the 1950s, she was the most bankable star in Hollywood. Anything she touched turned to gold. Her role as Cleopatra in 1963 earned her one million dollars, which was a record for female actresses at the time. Number six, Brigitte Bardot. At the young age of 15, French actress Brigitte Bardot made her modeling debut as she landed the cover of the uber-popular French magazine, Elle. Her long blonde hair and trademark smile helped her move into movies. In 1953, she was featured in the film Act of Love, with Kirk Douglas. She retired in 1973 after starring in more than 47 films. Number seven, Jane Mansfield. Jane Mansfield is not only one of the most beautiful women of the 50s, 60s and 70s, but she would put up a good argument for one of the most beautiful women of all time. Her gorgeous smile, sparkling eyes and flowing blonde hair helped her become the dream girl of every man that came across her path. It also helped that she was the first woman of Hollywood to perform a nude scene on screen. Unfortunately, she passed away at just 34 years young. Number 8. Farrah Fawcett Farrah Fawcett is arguably one of the most iconic and beautiful women in the history of Hollywood. Not only was she a brilliant actress, but she was incredibly smart in regards to show business. She was one of the first women to create herself as a brand. There were Farrah Fawcett dolls, posters, and many other things, and she had a hand in it all. It also helped that she was the definition of the girl next door with that natural beauty. She even created her own hairstyle called the Farrah Flip that could be seen on pretty much every woman in the 1970s. Number 9. Jane Seymour Jane Seymour was best known in the early part of her career for her role in the 1973 James Bond film, Live and Let Die. She is another woman that has a film and TV career that has lasted more than four decades. Up next, Lauren Bacall. Like many women on our list, Lauren Bacall started as a model before making her move to the big screen. 
It was 1944 when she would make her film debut with Humphrey Bogart in To Have and Have Not. A call had a very distinctive voice, and that with stunning good looks made her quite the force to be reckoned with. Number 11, Anne Margaret. Once referred to as the female version of Elvis Presley, Anne Margaret took Hollywood by storm in the 1960s. Both a singer and an actress, her beauty and talent were unmatched as her career spanned more than five decades. She starred in famous films such as Bye Bye Birdie, Tommy, and later in 1993, the hilariously funny grumpy old men as the love interest Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau fought over. Number 12, Audrey Hepburn. To be considered one of the most beautiful and iconic women of the golden age of Hollywood is quite the honor, and if anyone qualifies for that title, it has got to be Audrey Hepburn. Starting as a ballet dancer, she got a role in the Broadway play Gigi. Two years later, she solidified her place in Hollywood history by winning an Academy Award, Golden Globe, and BAFTA Award, all for her role in the 1953 film Roman Holiday. Hepburn is the only actress in history to win all three for a single performance. Number 13, Jessica Lange. Jessica Lange made her Hollywood debut as the blonde beauty along with her big hairy beast of a co-star in the 1976 remake of King Kong. She was a former model that went on to become an award-winning actress. Lang also co-starred with Dustin Hoffman in the critically acclaimed film Tootsie. Number 14, Sally Field. Who could forget the lovely brunette that co-starred in the famous film Smokey and the Bandit with the legendary Burt Reynolds? Sally Field started as a TV actress in the early 60s, appearing in the famous Gidget series. With her big, radiant smile, Field didn't hesitate to show her range as an actress, going from comedic roles to very serious dramatic roles. Her natural beauty earned her a spot on many, many reputable lists of Hollywood's most beautiful leading ladies. Number 15. Martha Stewart. This may come as a shock to some that didn't grow up in this era, but long before Martha Stewart was showing the world how to bake the perfect cake, she was actually a model. When Stewart was a child, she had the lucky job of occasionally babysitting Major League Baseball star Mickey Mantle's children. In college, she had a modeling job that paid more than $1.50 per hour, which at the time was a significant amount of money. Number 16, Nina Mae McKinney. Miss Nina Mae McKinney just barely qualifies for our list because she made her final stage appearance in 1951. But with that beautiful smile, we felt as if she needed to be included. Most of her film career took place in the late 30s. Number 17, Diane Keaton. Hollywood director, producer, screenwriter, and breathtakingly gorgeous actress, Diane Keaton had her major film debut in 1972 when she played the wife of Michael Corleone in the famous Godfather trilogy. Keaton had the girl next door look that America and the rest of the world fell in love with. She went on to star in more than 65 combined films and TV series, even playing the voice role of Jenny in the recent Disney Pixar film, Finding Dory. Number 18, Faye Dunaway. Faye Dunaway started her career on Broadway in the early 1960s before making her on-screen debut in the 1967 film, The Happening. Later that year, Dunaway appeared in the gangster film, Bonnie and Clyde. Dunaway has one of the most incredible smiles in Hollywood, and she wasn't afraid to use it. She has starred in more than 100 roles in either TV or films over her long, illustrious career. Number 19, Shirley MacLaine. Shirley MacLaine was one of the most sought-after actresses in Hollywood in the 1950s. MacLaine made her film debut in the Alfred Hitchcock film The Trouble with Harry in 1955. She immediately put herself on the map, winning a Golden Globe for New Star of the Year. Number 20, Helen Mirren. One of the few people that have ever achieved the triple crown of acting, Helen Mirren, also happens to be one of the most beautiful women of the 60s and 70s. The triple crown is winning an Oscar, Emmy and Tony, all in the acting categories, which can't be an easy thing to achieve. 
Making her film debut in the late 60s, Mirren would go on to have an extremely successful career that is still going strong today. Her role as the queen in the self-titled 2006 film won her all kinds of awards, including the Academy Award for Best Actress. Number 21. Sybil Shepherd, Starring in her first film, The Last Picture, in 1971, the lovely Sybil Shepherd cemented herself as one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood. She also modelled before making her debut on the silver screen. In 1966, she was named Miss Teenage Memphis. Just two years later, she graced the cover of every major magazine as the model of the year. Number 22. Natalie Wood Natalie Wood is most recognized for her on-screen roles in Rebel Without a Cause, West Side Story, and Miracle on 34th Street. Her girl-next-door look and gorgeous eyes made her one of the leading ladies of Hollywood. She went on to marry actor Robert Wagner, twice actually, then on to Richard Gregson, who was a producer. Number 23. Meryl Streep Many people feel that Meryl Streep might be the best actress of her generation, which would really be saying something considering the competition out there. She first started on stage at Broadway before making her film debut in the late 70s, and by 1979, she had already won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role Kramer vs. Kramer. She has more nominations from the Academy than any other actor or actress in history. Number 24. Susan Sarandon I don't know that any other female on this list could claim to have been appointed the UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador like Susan Sarandon was in 1999. Sarandon has been gracing the silver screen since 1970 when she debuted in the film Joe. She even starred in the cult classic film Rocky Horror Picture Show, filmed in 1975. For her work on television, she has earned five Emmys. My all-time favorite might have to be her role of hardcore baseball fan in Bull Durham. Number 25. Lena Horne Lena Horne made a name for herself as a talented actress, singer, and dancer in the late 40s. But her reputation as a political activist got her somewhat blacklisted for a short period of time from working in Hollywood after the Red Scare. Not one to give up easily, she went back to her roots, performing at nightclubs and other small venues. Up next, Judy Pace. If you were a fan of the black exploitation films, you will surely recognize this lovely lady. Her name is Judy Pace, and she also played the character of Pat Walters in The Young Lawyers on ABC. He went on to win an Image Award for Outstanding Actress in 1970. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Now on to Julie Newmar. Julie Newmar is the lovely actress that had a very successful career both on stage and on screen starting in 1952. Some of her most notable roles consist of her performance in the Broadway production, The Marriage Go Round, for which she earned the Tony Award. But it was her role as Catwoman in the hit TV series Batman in 1966-67 that really put her on the map, at least in the eyes of every teenage boy in America. Number 28. Sandra D. Sandra D. first came onto the Hollywood scene as a child model and then slowly moved into working in TV commercials. By the time she was a teenager, she had started to transition into films. She even won a Golden Globe Award for being one of the year's most promising newcomers. She had a very public marriage to Bobby Darin that unfortunately ended in divorce. Number 29. Bo Derrick Bo Derrick started her movie career at the young age of 16 in 1973, but it was her role in the film Ten that was released in 1979 that made her an international sex symbol that lasted through the 80s and beyond. She also had a poster of her in a swimsuit from the film that turned out to be a bestseller. 